Alan, we're talking about Royal Dutch Shell today, but hang on, I'm feeling some deja vu. Weren't we having this conversation the other day? We were. We were just here, and they did pre-announce, um, gave a shocking uh, pre-announcement, first downgrade to profits in 10 years. Um, shares went down a lot during the day. Um, but the funny thing is that the shares are, are roughly where they were at that, uh, at that announcement. Okay, so what have they promised now? Yeah, they, they, they've said that they would cut CapEx, particularly in the upstream, but also in the downstream. Um, they're going to bring down organic CapEx, and by that I mean uh, X acquisitions, by about $3 billion, down from 38 to 35 um, They also said that they will increase the pace of divestitures. Uh, from a run rate of six billion, where it's been in the past, it was lower last year, about 1.8. But six billion in the past to a run rate of closer to seven and a half per year over the next couple of years. Um, I, I don't think that was a real shock, to be honest with you. I think people were expecting that. Okay, well that's some detail, but aren't these changes quite incremental? Yeah, so, I mean, it's a, you know, let's put it into perspective. It's a big company, there are some structural issues that, that need addressing as we talked about before. Um, but I think what's most important here is that the dividend went up. Um, that itself is not a shock. I, I think uh, any CFO at, at Shell that cut the dividend would be in big, big trouble. But the dividend went up, profits have collapsed, this company is solid as a rock, and we've had a lot of market volatility. This is a company with a lot of free cash flow, not much last year, but in, in general, usually, it'd probably be around $8 billion, $7 billion forward uh, into 2014. They're comfortable. Uh, so I, I think that is the issue here, market volatility versus strong defensive stock. Well, I mean, shareholders are impressed, but does that mean shell shares are going to sort of take off from here? Uh, I would, uh, personally, I don't think so, but uh, that's not to put down management or anything, but you know, this is a company, it's built for comfort, not for speed. Um, I think it's just perfect for this current very volatile market environment though. Okay, well that's one other reason to pay attention to Shell. Thank you, Alan.